Mm -hmm. And Senator Patty Murray, a Democrat, and Senator Lamar Alexander, a Republican, have been getting a lot of attention this week for their bipartisan effort that last week was put on hold, but it's actually been going on for weeks. And now they appear ready to relaunch talks about how to move forward. And we were very close to a consensus legislation a few weeks ago. We'll start talking today about the prospects of getting that put back together and what his goals are and uh, how we can meet that in, in a timely fashion. Senators Murray and Alexander back in the headlines and back at the table to try and salvage bipartisan health care talks after the latest GOP repeal effort failed to get the needed votes to bring it to the floor. The purpose of the hearing. The Murray Alexander health care hearings that launched earlier this month mentioned countless times by colleagues fighting the Graham Cassidy bill. It is and I view it as very critical. The question now does a bipartisan partisan health care fix stand a chance. We're not taking on every big issue in front of health care today. Senator Patty Murray says she and her Republican colleague have been focusing specifically on shoring up short term stability of the individual health insurance market, a marketplace that has seen rising rates, fewer options and uncertainty heading into the next enrollment period. I'm at the table. I'm ready to go. And if our Republican partners come in with that same short term goal in mind, I believe we can get something done. Well, some people want to go through a process. President Trump hinted today at a bi bipartisan health care effort in the future. Senator Murray believes a potential deal with Republicans would require commitment from the president to continue paying Obamacare subsidies known as cost sharing reductions or CSRs. I would welcome him to do that by starting with telling insurance companies that the CSR payments are not going to be used as a political football to make uh, people's health care costs go up and to sabotage Obamacare. If he does, that would be a very big step forward to assure us that he really meant it. And back to the talks with Republican Senator Lamar Alexander. No word yet on a sense of timing when they could reach a potential agreement. In a statement earlier this week, Senator Alexander said that he's looking for consensus on a limited bipartisan plan to help lower premiums and increase access for 2018 and 2019. That is a bipartisan goal. And I am hearing from staffers that there's a lot of consensus across both sides of the aisle on that piece.